I'm fast, I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. Cash's play goes into the record book with Corbett, Tunney, and Braddock as another who brought off one of the great upsets in the heavyweight history. It is befitting that I leave the game just like I came in, beating a big, bad monster who knocks out everybody and no one can whoop him. That's when that little Cassius Clay from Louisville, Kentucky came up and stopped Sonny Liston, the man who annihilated Floyd Patterson twice. He was going to kill me. But he hit harder than George. His reach is longer than George. He's a better boxer than George. And I'm better now than I was when you saw that 22-year-old undeveloped kid running from Sonny Liston. I'm experienced now, professional. Jaws been broke, been lost, knocked down a couple of times. I'm bad. Been chopping trees. I done something new for this fight. I done wrestled with an alligator. That's right. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, stole thunder in jail. That's bad. Casey's development over those years and through that process has been nothing short of tremendous. Um, you know, coming in here, really the way I see him, I think I think of him as a Tony Allen type of player. I mean, he's got that great physical body in regards to his athleticism, his ability to change directions, and his ability to just defend people. I, I think is uh, is really his best attribute. And then when you look at what he did offensively in college, 
Uh, I mean, just really a great, a great ability to get to the basket, a great ability to finish at the rim. And uh, obviously he's got an excellent mid-range game. You know, we're able to tie those things together and improve his jump shot from the outside on the catch. I mean, his, his, uh, the sky's the limit from there for him. Um, and, and I'm really excited to see where he goes from here because when you talk about a guy that competes every drill every day, uh, no matter what we're doing, you know, he's competing every single day to get better. And, uh, you know, that's a deadly combination when you take his size, skill, athleticism, and you, and you kind of combine that with that ability to compete. Uh, you know, a lot of people really like to see that. And, and not a lot of people bring it every day. So Casey's doing a great job, and you know I, I think he's going to have a great career as well. Ford had a great year. Um, you know to to do what they did during the regular season, to do what he did. You know SEC Player of the Year, SEC Tournament MVP, Regional Most Outstanding Player, uh, all the way to the Final Four. You know just nothing short of incredible. Obviously, it's a it's a credit to the hard work that he's put in and uh, he's been nothing but a worker since he's been here, which has been great to see. Uh, a guy that had that much success just being a sponge and wanting and willing to soak up everything uh, in order to get himself better. I think that that's what's gonna make him successful. He's a worker. Um, I think that he's uh, underrated as an athlete. I mean, his explosiveness was tremendous. He touched 11 feet, three and a half inches off the ground, which just shocked everybody. Um, and I really think that he's gonna be able to create his own shot and really get what he wants at the next level. Uh, a lot of people are questioning his size, of course. Anytime you've got a guy uh, that's gonna be playing that lead guard position here in the NBA, and, hey, is he big enough? Is, but you know, Scotty's been nothing but, uh, but a great competitor, uh, a leader, and you know, I really see him having a long and, and tremendous career as well in the NBA at the next level.